Hey everybody, welcome back to North Pole Retro. Today, I wanted to talk about the NES Advantage and literally how this just destroyed my childhood. Anyways, let's get into it. I'll tell you what happened. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to talk about a couple of things I actually like about this controller before I get into what just completely destroyed my childhood with it and everything, because I wanted one of these controllers for a very long time. When I first saw it as a kid, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was like bringing the arcade home. It had the stick, the buttons, the turbo, the player one, two, select, select, start, and the completely useless slow button that just smacks the hell out of the start button. One thing I do actually like about this controller is it has some weight to it. It has some heft. It is it's actually fairly heavy for its size. I've owned some larger arcade sticks that are probably a third of the weight of this thing. But it's got a good solid metal base. Um, I'm not going to open it up mostly just because I don't want to have to replace the feet down on the bottom and it's already missing one. At some point in time I will get that replaced. The other thing I do like about the controller is the player one and player two. It's They're built in. It's kind of funny, I have two white wires, or actually white pieces of tape, and that's actually the player one port, not the player two port. I actually just used it to mark the player one and didn't even think about the fact that I wrapped two white stripes around it. But, and switching back and forth between the player select is fairly easy on there. The one thing that um, I guess really I had an issue with with it was I I grew up in an arcade. I used to play in arcade games. This doesn't have that satisfying click when you move it. The buttons are a good size. You can actually rest your hand to play and everything. The turbo function and actually being able to adjust that speed certain games Silver Surfer. It's kind of nice to be able to do that with, um, but like I said, the issue was, is I grew up in an arcade, so I, I wanted this because I wanted it to work. I wanted it to play, you know, Ninja Turtles and some of the other ones just because I always liked the feel of an arcade stick, and it just doesn't work great right for it. And honestly, I think it's just the muscle memory of using a standard controller of why it doesn't work great for it. Other games like Mario Brothers, not Super Mario Brothers, but Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong, Centipede, Millipede, games like that. This worked out great for it. felt totally natural to play those with this because that's what I used to play in the arcade. And so it felt very similar for everything else. This just didn't work and I wanted it to work. And there's not really enough games on the Nintendo to really justify this and for full-time use and everything. So I, I love it. I love the nostalgia of it. I love the weight of it. I love the comfortable feel of it, especially as an adult. You can really just wrap your hand around it and everything. But as far as being a kid, always wanting this, I mean, my dreams of owning one, using it to play all of my games and everything were just completely shattered and destroyed. And anyways, that is how the NES Advantage destroyed my childhood as I've gotten older. We are North Pole Retro. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a fun kind of nostalgia look back on something I always wanted as a kid. I finally got it. And you know what? It's not as great as it was, so I'm glad I didn't get it as a child. Check us out at NorthPoleRetro.com. We still have our giveaway going on. Check out our Retro Repair Hall videos for details on that. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping in, and have a good night.